Amazingly, an eyewitness account of the eruption survives. It describes how on that fateful day you could hear the shrieks of women, the squalling of infants and the shouting of men. Some calling out for their parents, others for their children or their wives. It was so dark they could only recognise them by their voices. Many pleaded for the help of the gods, but more thought that the gods had disappeared and that the world had been plunged into eternal darkness. It must have been pitch black when the volcanic debris started to fall and our people tried to escape. Several of them certainly have brought lamps with them. This one is rather nice because uh, the center, just where the oil goes in, got a lovely picture here of the goddess of Rome herself. She's sadly broken in half, but she's quite recognizable with her helmet on. The people in the cellar were sheltering there as the eruption intensified outside, plunging them further into darkness. Heaven knows how you could have found your way through the streets at night using just one of these. It makes me realize how vulnerable the people in this cellar must have felt. They fled through the darkness. All trace of the sun has been obliterated by the volcanic debris. They've come in here, they're huddled together for shelter and support. And the only protection against the dark they've got is half a dozen little lamps like this. Of course, in the end, these people couldn't protect themselves from the same fate as the others in Pompeii. But the Romans in the cellar didn't just leave us with evidence of their tragic death, but of the lives they lived too. It may have been a male-dominated world where the rich dined in luxury and exploited the poor, but Pompeii was also a place where slaves could earn their freedom, where women could own wealth, and the ordinary Roman could eat and drink well. It was a place where even the poorest knew something of the world outside. The people who died in this cellar help us to understand that Roman society wasn't quite as black and white as we often imagine it to be. Sure, these people would have had vastly different lifestyles but they lived cheek by jowl, and they shared a lot too. The smells, the dark, and the dirt. Not to mention the wine, the sex, the food, and the fun. And in the end, of course, they shared the same fate in the same cellar 2,000 years ago.